experiment with me, your professor. Today we're gonna be looking at our science experiment from the Apology of Science textbook. We're gonna be looking at experiment 1.3, which is titled Comparing Conversions to Measurements. You're gonna need a couple of supplies to get this experiment going. The first thing you're gonna need is a book. You might be familiar with this book. In fact, it might give you nightmares, but all the same, we're gonna use it. Make sure your book isn't oversized. Next, we're gonna need a ruler. Some people think that these rulers are only for hitting the knuckles of bad children. However, they seem to have other uses, although that's the only use I've ever used it for. Next, we're gonna need safety goggles. I'm gonna have two pairs today for extra safety. That way, in case a piece of ruler or a piece of book flies into the air accidentally, it doesn't hit my eyes or my hair and head. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lay our book on a flat surface. Today, I'm using this wooden table. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to uh, use the ruler and you're going to measure the length of the book. So if we see here, we actually see that the book is exactly eight inches. I'm gonna write that down on my whiteboard because I tend to forget these small numbers. Next, we're going to measure the width of this book here. You can see that as uh, we're at a um, uh, 5.25 exactly. So we're gonna write down that measurement here, 5.25. <clears throat> See here, we have 5.25 and 8. Those are our two measurements. Now, while we're on the topic, which we're not, I'm going to say something really quick. A lot of people oftentimes wonder why my accent seems to change a lot in the course of a 15 or 10 minute video, and I'm going to tell you why. It's because I'm a very well-traveled young man, and sometimes I have all these, these accents from these places I've gone, you know, London, Slovakia. Africa, Zimbabwe, those kind of places. I got all these accents I've heard swimming around in my brain and they just come out of my vocal column. I don't really control that sort of thing. So I'm gonna need you guys to bear with me as my voice starts to change. So just keep that in mind before you condemn me, okay? Now, after we've measured our book and we have our measurements of both width and length and we have written them down so we don't forget them, what we're going to do is we're going to take the number of the length and the number of the width, and we're going to multiply them together. I seem to have forgotten my calculator. I'll be right back. I couldn't seem to find my calculator, so I'm gonna be using this new cellular device I've gotten recently. They're pretty good and nifty for this sort of thing. Very difficult to make phone calls on, though. So we're gonna take our number eight, and we're gonna multiply it by 5.25. You see, the answer we get is this number. Uh, 42, which some might also say 42. Okay, and now if you've had any basic level of math or geometry or that sort of thing, you know that this number is actually the area of your book, surface area of your book. And so we're actually, the units for that surface area is going to be inches squared because it's area. So total book surface area is 42 inches squared. See, I wrote that down so I don't forget. Okay, now the next thing that we're going to be needing to do is we're going to actually convert this measurement 42 into centimeters. Now, if you've done your work and you've read this module, you know that on, on table uh, 1.3, you they give you a nice list of tables on how to convert from things like centimeters to inches or millimeters to inches or that sort of thing. And so uh, on the table, it says that one inch equals exactly 2.54 centimeters. So what we're going to need to do to convert that is we are going to need to, let me see here, what are we gonna do? Okay, we're actually going to do our width measurement and our length measurement separately. So we're gonna do eight, and we're gonna multiply that by 2.54 first. Eight times 2.54, 20.32 centimeters is what our length is and then we have 5.25 inches for the width which we're going to multiply by 2.54 5.25 times 2.54 equals 13.34 that's after we've rounded it off with significant figures and such we're going to go 
three, four centimeters for the width. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this handy dandy ruler right here, which has both English measurement in, in inches and metric measurement in centimeters, and we're going to measure the book again, this time in centimeters. So let's see here, measuring the width of the book. We have 13.5-ish centimeters, and then we have on the length side of things, we have 20.3. And what you'll see actually that's very interesting is that those are almost nearly the exact numbers that we had when we converted from inches to centimeters. Which means that our conversion factor works, which means you can trust your science book. That's all for today, kids. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time on Science With Me, Professor Patti.